Uh, all right, so today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit differently. We're gonna be learning some Japanese. I've got here some uh, kind of paper, I guess you want to call it. Um, and we're just gonna start with uh, how to understand some of the basic, uh, what, what, what you call this, the Japanese, uh, <laughs> Japanese alphabet. This is hiragana. That's right. Um, so there's hiragana and there's katakana and kanji. We're going to do hiragana. So this is used for writing Japanese words um, when you want to sound them out. So some words might be written like this. And then uh, kanji are for single characters or combination of characters that represent full ideas rather than sounds. Um, we're not going to worry about that for now. We're going to start with the basics. Um, and this is going to help us play some Japanese games. Anytime people are like, you know, screaming or talking, uh, especially in early, uh, early games for like SNES and Game Boy Advance, they'll tend to use, uh, the hiragana because it, you know, you don't need as many characters as you need for kanji. Uh, well, anyway, regardless, um, so when we're writing Japanese characters, you want to always be starting at the top left of the character. So let's say we did A. So I believe what we do is we go um, one here, one here, and then we want to do like a little swoop. Pretty awful looking. This is an A sound. It's a little bit better. And we'll do a couple. Now, I don't pretend that I'm actually any good at this. I'm still learning. But maybe you can learn along with me. Ah. And the order of the strokes matters. Um, the idea of the order is supposed to help you, you know, so you don't you don't do something ugly like this. Like it helps you um, make sure your strokes aren't too big. You know, it's sort of like when you draw an E. You have a specific order usually that you do it. You don't. I don't know. Maybe people do it like that, but you probably don't do it like that. That's that'd be very strange. Oh gosh. There we go. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a, a few more. Starting to starting to look pretty good, I think. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is to really just get used to seeing it, because when you see all these different characters you're not used to, and you're trying to read them for the first time, they can really just all blur together. All right, not too bad. I feel like I should have a, a new layer here. So I stopped deleting the background. <laughs> Let's see. All right, that's that should help. All right, so that's A. 
Um, next we have this um, I. Oops. So for I, it's sort of like two lines. Um, but you sort of like lift up your pen at the end of this downstroke. It's not too bad. That's probably a little bit too much. And again, I don't claim to be an expert here. I'm still learning. I've never had any sort of formal training. This is just what I've sort of deduced from, from the internet. I recommend if you're doing this, maybe try to follow along because it'll help for sure. So it's, this again is I, it's the I sound. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know which one of these is like a good example. Probably, maybe this one. This one's not too bad. All right, so we have, we have A and we have I, nice. Sometimes you'll see in, um, in games, they'll do like a little dash this is like, you know, hold, hold this last uh, character here. Like, I, yeah. All right, so next we'll do U. This makes an ooh sound. And again, from top to bottom. This one just, yeah, I'm not so good at this one. I feel like the top mark wants to be pretty little. And the bottom mark wants to be kinda, kinda round. My natural inclination is to make it sort of angled. This is not good. Yeah, we're just studying Japanese together. Get the basic vowels down. These all look pretty terrible, but you. This is this is the U sound. U. Alright. Um next we'll do E. Or eh. This is like a short E, it's eh. Um, yeah, so all the vowels are short, so it's, you know, it's ah, e, u. That's pretty ugly, but eh. And. O. And A and O look, they can sometimes look a little bit similar. I didn't do it that similar here, but because um, they have this curve. In the A, this is not connected, and the O it is, and the A doesn't have this little dash, and the O does. Um, that's the difference there. But it's A, E, U, A, O. So we'll do E. Um, the, or the eh sound. It's sort of like, 
don't know if this is supposed to be one symbol or not. Actually, let me find that out. Um, Yeah, all right. So yeah, this is supposed to be one, kind of one mark here. And again, this is E, or, or makes the E sound. Just like we're in school. Just keep writing it until you get good at it. All right, not too bad. Oops. Uh, let's see. Next we have um, we have the O sound. O. So for this, it's a little rough. sort of hesitating, it's just making kind of my curves very crooked. Should be, that's not too bad. Yeah, it should be like pretty smooth. Not, not, not crooked like mine. <laughs> I don't know, this is wrong. I don't know why I drew a little circle there. not too bad. Uh, maybe we'll do a couple more. This one, this one's pretty uh, nice. It sort of feels like an O. It's kind of round. Just like how the I sort of like, it's almost like a double I. That was an I, if you remember. That's, it's a really ugly I, but. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. That one's good. So the purpose of doing this first horizontal stroke is to kind of help you size your uh, your following stroke. So you, you know you don't want it to be too short in comparison to this little um, curve, and you don't want it to be too long.
Beautiful. All right, <laughs> we're starting to run out of room at the bottom there. That's not too bad. All right, so now we have our, our kind of vowel sounds. We have um, ah, ah, e, oh God, we're doing it in the wrong order. Test time. Okay, uh, it's a little, little bit ugly looking. We got our A E I U O. <laughs> uh, not not the same order on the left, obviously. Uh, but these are the five vowel sounds that we're gonna have in Japanese. Um, in kind of everything, we're gonna be thinking about these short sounds A uh, E. A, E, E, U, O. All right, let's move to um, move to the K sounds. All right, so we got K sounds. Um, the first sound, of course, we're going to do ka, ke. Oh, wait, what order are we going to do this in? We're going to do ka. Ki, ku, ke, ko. <laughs> Not even writing English. Uh, very good. Um, and I'll, I'll try to do these once. So this is ka, Oh god, <laughs> do it the wrong direction. Ki, oh man, that's ugly looking. Ku, ku is pretty easy. Ke, that's not too bad. And ko. Ugh, that's pretty ugly, but we're gonna we're gonna practice. We're gonna try to get better at these. Alright. Let's, let's maybe stretch a little bit there we go all right let's give this a try so we're gonna start with ka so and i could probably make my pen a little bit finer i wonder if that would be helpful ka oh golly turn it all in the wrong order here. And let me let me make sure that I have this um, this stroke order correct. So we can sort of see the stroke order here. So I'm doing it wrong. It should be first we want to do this, then we do this, then we do this. All right. Okay. That's it's a little tricky. trying to do like my my inclination is to do this first but they actually want you to do the other order they want to do this this curvy cue or 
We're going to need more practice on this one. And this is a very common character. You're going to see this one a lot. Ka. And the reason for that is if you end a sentence in ka, that's it sort of makes it a question. Um, it's sort of like a question mark at the end of the sentence. We're going to probably run into that a lot more later. I don't feel confident enough to uh, give too many examples because I'll probably get them wrong. There we go. That last one's not looking too bad. All right. So that's ka. Actually, yeah, and let's maybe center this a little bit. All right, next we're going to do key. I know my eye looks, <laughs> it looks a bit like a, a colon, but that's key. It's just because um, I'm not that used to using a, I've got, I've got a tablet. Just not that used to using it. Um, so for key, we're going to do two horizontal strokes first, and then this is sort of just like a, a down. And the reason it's sort of sort of kind of coming up to the left here is then we're following it up with kind of this fourth uh, stroke. And I sometimes see this this connected, but I guess it's not actually supposed to be connected. I guess it's more like that. Or, or like that. It's a very dynamic letter. A lot going on here. These are really pretty awful looking. And it's sort of it's not, you know, it's not straight up and down. It's it's at this sort of angle. We're gonna need a lot of help on this one. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. Just keep just keep trying it. The reason the letters look like this is because, you know, it's supposed to be easy to write. Um, you know, if you imagine thousands of years ago when the writing system is developed, these characters might have looked a little bit different. But over time, because the way your hand moves, people start doing it in you know, you write this character thousands of times, you start doing whatever way is faster, um, but still legible. So whatever the correct way is, is probably also what the way that feels natural for your hand once you get used to it. Sort of connected, but that's, I think that's okay. It's not, I guess it's not technically connected. It's in the wrong order. Let's try, let's try with a little bit more of a, um, an upstroke here.
Maybe I'll slow it down. <laughs> oh man, these are getting worse. Key. This is key. Key. All right. The reason we're practicing this, obviously, is so we can not just learn how to write it, but hopefully learn how to recognize it. I know my examples are really terrible. Um, it's not so bad. Oh man, can I can I get like one good one? That might. That's that's like not so bad. That's like key. Okay. Let's go ahead to Ku. Now this one is super easy. If you're used to writing a K, you're already halfway there. Just only write half the K. Ku. This one I always find the easiest to remember of the K set. Very simple. We're not going to do too many of these. Let's fill the page here. Right. Very simple. Cool. So we have again, ka, <laughs> ki, and ku so far. All right, not too bad. Um, let's try k, k. Um, so we're doing again, kind of just like a stroke. There's like a little bit of a, an upstroke at the end there where you're lifting your pen and horizontal line, and then a sort of slightly curve to the left. Maybe like that. That's pretty good. So, one, two, three. And I see a couple characters have this kind of vertical line. I don't really know if there's much of a pattern to it, but but it exists. Um, you'll start to notice some things that repeat. Okay. Not too bad. All right, so there's K. Uh, next we'll do Ko. So you can almost imagine this is like one stroke and you're sort of lifting your pen in the middle here. Maybe not quite, maybe not quite that fast, but. But it's essentially more or less two horizontal lines. more or less. It's like a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a curve, but, but if you just did two horizontal lines, it's probably fine. I'll try a few more.
Yeah, and these little um, kind of spots where your pen is lifting up. That's fine if they're not that pronounced. I'm sort of pronouncing them probably more than I should be. So this is practice. We're going to want to be able to recognize it. And sometimes, like, you will see a script where it's, like, really pronounced. Maybe not quite that pronounced, but, like, sometimes it's pretty pronounced. Um, when they're doing like a handwritten script. As opposed to a more digital looking script. They'll really pronounce those uh, the spots where the pen lifts up. All right, this is Co. It's also not too bad, so let me see. So ka. Um, then we have uh, ki. Got sort of almost forgot for a second. Let's let's try that one again. Ki. Ke. Um, ku. And ko. Ka, ki, ke, ku, ko. Maybe I should make my pen even thinner. Yeah, I don't know. Um, all right, so that's the K set. So we've done vowels and we've done Ks. And every set is going to be out like this. We're going to have a kind of a consonant sound and five variations for the vowels. So let's start with sa. So for sa, we're, it's sort of like ki, but it's only one line. Sa. Uh, yeah, and the spacing on this is probably what I'm worst at. Just like key, I'm terrible. Probably, I'm probably going to have to do this a bunch of times to get it to look at all reasonable. Yeah, so this is not right. It's not like... It's not like a full curve like this. It's more, it's more like that. I don't know. Let's try a few more. And again, it's fine if it doesn't have this lift up. This is, this is acceptable. It's not like correct, but it's, it's like acceptable. It doesn't have to have that lift up. Sa. It's not. It's not a sigh. <laughs> We're not sighing, but but I am sighing on the inside. I have a little trouble with this one. It's not bad. All right. We're sawed out here. So, um, if you're used to the pattern by now, you should be expecting it's um, C. Uh, but in Japanese, they actually use SHI. But otherwise, yeah, it follows the same pattern. So, five vowel sounds, but th this is SHI, not C. And this one is not like a lift up. This is like a, a full curve, and it's... Kind of just, I guess it's a little bit like a, like a J kind of curve. Obviously, it's going the other way. C. 
she, 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 she. Not too bad. She. Um, I don't really know what the best looking she is here. This is probably not very good because it's a little bit too angled. But, uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's, you, you, it's not, it's not like an angle. You want to really make it kind of like a curve. So not, not this one, probably not that one. This one's a little bit too much also. Yeah. She. Yeah, more, more like this, not so much like this. The ones that are only one, <laughs> one swoop, a little bit easier to draw. So next we'll do Sue. Oh boy, that's a little funky. Um, so we're doing a horizontal line and then we're doing a little swoop. Not, not quite like that though. Maybe I should try slowing down. So down, swoop, and then out. That's not that great. Sue. You could even think about this as having like a, like a two, with a T. But it's two. So it's not really with a T at all. <laughs> I guess is the uh, I guess is what I, I should clarify. That would be like, I don't know, maybe like a Chinese kind of character. No, it's it's um Sue. Um. And usually you don't pronounce the U, so this is just like tss, often. It's just like a s sound. Um, yeah, we need to do this a couple more times, I think. This curly Q is a little bit strange. It's not too bad. I think you... You don't want to make it like an O. I think you want to make it kind of like that. Like I know you like a, like you're tying a knot or something. I guess like if you make it instead of making it round like that you make it a little bit taller, that might help. That's not too bad. It's, I mean, it's not good. I'm also running out of room on the page, but I think we're, we're getting there. So, right, so not, not like this, that's pretty bad. Not like this one. I like this one. I think this one. This one's not too bad. It's okay. All right, so that's Sue. Now we'll do Se. Uh, so this one, again, we want sort of a horizontal line. Um, and then we're actually starting, it's a little bit strange. Start on the right side, usually you go Top to bottom, left to right. 
but because this third swoop is sort of coming underneath, um, I guess the second one starts a little bit higher. So it's going to look sort of like this. It's not too bad. And I'm probably, uh, this corner, it's probably not really supposed to be a corner. It's probably supposed to be more of a fluid curve. That's better. Se. Se. Se, se, se. Pretty good, pretty good looking. These are all pretty good. Um, I mean, some of them are not as good as others, but I think this is pretty legible. Unlike my, unlike my keys, my keys are all really all over the place. Uh, but that's not too bad. Uh, next, we'll do so. This is just one curve, but this is a pretty complicated one, so. This might take me a few tries. So we're doing sort of to the right, down, right, and then a curve. It's almost like a Z with an extra flourish at the end. <laughs> like you like you Z'd a little bit one too many times. So. And I think the, the top, unlike a normal Z, it's not like it's supposed to be the same length. I think it's supposed to be a little bit shorter on the top. So. Uh, let's, let's maybe give that more a couple more tries. <laughs> that was pretty awful. All right. Something. Oh, man. They're... Some of these are getting worse. I slow down a bit. All right, so that's so. So let's see if we can do this from, if I can do this from memory. So, uh, sa, not even too bad. Um, and then we'll do se. So we'll do, here we'll do sa, se, she. So, su, okay. So she. Um, so, oh man, right. oh yeah, so that's the one we just did. Okay, not too bad. And then uh, Sue is this one. All right. Yeah, that's, it's like acceptable. Do you remember our cause? All right, let me, our K's. Let's, okay, let's see. Ka, K. Ki, ko, ku. Okay, so ka, ka is this one. And then we have ke, ki is the one we have trouble with. Ko is just two lines. And then ku is the most K looking of the bunch. 
Great. Okay. Awesome. Can we do our vowels? Yeah, let's do ah, uh, e, ah, uh, e, wait, ah, uh, e, e, o, u. Yeah. So, um, and let's actually make sure I have, <laughs> have the correct stroke order. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so this is correct. So it should be um, ah, and then uh, e. Oh god, that's backwards. It should be down stroke. Um, we didn't we didn't actually look at the uh, strokes when we were doing this, so let's let's make sure we're doing this right. Um, Eh is just kind of like a little dash, and then we'll, we'll flourish on that. And for O, that's not too bad. Maybe we'll try it. Oh, wait. <laughs> try a little bit of a better O. All right, that's. Not the worst O I've ever seen. There we go. That's a beautiful looking O. Yeah, so the difference between A and O, this line connects up to the circle instead of to the line and there's a dash. Yeah, I think it's helpful to like practice A and O and see how they're different because just visually they're sort of similar. But when you look closely at the line strokes, then this is what writing it actually helps with as you can really see oh yes it's it's different um all right okay those are uh those are the first three groups now we'll go to our t set oh come on <laughs> delete um oh see and that was wrong yeah so this is there's a two in this set uh All right, so here we've got, let's do ta. So ta, ta is very recognizable, I find. So we start with our kind of T shape, just like we're kind of used to. And then we're doing just like, just like we were doing um, a ko, we just do two lines. So it's like a T, but two lines, this is ta. Uh, it almost it almost looks like ta <laughs> I find I don't know when I when I look at it that's what I sort of think oh, can I <laughs> can I delete this ta just get rid of that um, it helps if I do it in the right order though um, and they they actually do it a little bit differently here. They seem to do it like this, where it's the the third line is almost uh, kind of on the same line as the top part of this, but I don't think, I don't usually see it quite like that. Maybe that's just because in, in video games you don't have as much space to write. Right, it should be horizontal first. Because I usually see it sort of tucked underneath, more like this. But we can try it that way too. And you can see like my first one, I have like the kind of the pen lifting up strokes and later I'm just doing more like an equal sign. Um, let me try to to do a little bit more of the, the penmanship. It's not too bad. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's like a very broad uh, fourth stroke there. Yeah. 
Yeah, and some, like I said, sometimes in handwritten fonts, they get a little bit more expressive. Whereas in like a digital font, it'll it'll tend to be pretty clean, more like just like an equal sign almost. And I'm not doing the correct stroke order in some of these. As some of these, I I'm doing the vertical line first. Got to be careful. It's horizontal line first. Uh, and the reason that matters is it you know if you do the lines in the correct order, it's supposed to help you you know keep the size correct, um, you know, keep the uh, orientation correct. If you start varying the order, you know, your a line that's usually like an upper curve might start looking like a curve in the wrong direction. And then, you know, that can that can be confusing. But OK, this is these are all Taz. Some of them are better than others. I, I think this line is pretty bad. Um, I don't like it like that. I, I think this is a little bit closer. They're almost parallel, but they're not, they're not like exactly, uh, not exactly parallel. I don't know how easy it is to see like where my mouse is at any given time. And I can see it, obviously. You can maybe see me moving it, um, but it might be kind of small. I'm not sure. Uh, well, regardless, that's ta. So instead of uh, T, we have a chi instead of instead of T. But otherwise, it, it takes the same spot. So it's ta chi. So chi. There we go. That's a chi. It's not a very good chi, but. But this is what we're looking for, for a chi. You know, compared to, again, compared to sa, which is like this. And there, there is a break, and it's going the other direction. This is chi, this is sa. OK, we'll just leave that there. Chi. Chi. If you've seen uh, Chobits. This is the only word that the character Chi says. She just says her own name, Chi. Sometimes it's maybe a little bit more compressed. I feel like the um you know, they show the curve kind of extending past uh, that horizontal line. I don't know. I don't know exactly what the sizing, like what the optimal sizing here is. This is not a bad one. But these are all not too bad. This is a little bit, it's a little bit funky. Um, this corner, that's a little bit weird. This, this is a little strange. But for the most part, not too bad. Again, sa is to the left, chi is to the right. Not too bad. Let's, uh, oh god. How did I end up in the wrong layer again? Somehow I ended up deleting, <laughs> deleting the layer I was on. Let's see. Can I can I lock this layer? All right. All righty. Okay. Next we have two. So before I said you could do. <laughs> For I said like, oh yeah, Sue, that's like TSU. No, it's not, right? So this is Sue. Okay. Um, this confuses me a bunch. But so this is Sue. This is S, or just like T, 
It's just like an S, almost. This is... Oh God. Uh, this is Sue. And this is just a OO. Okay, so if it helps, this is like an OO, but without the little dash. I feel like you want to... I'm being kind of gentle here. I'm not kind of rocketing off because my instinct is to like make it really big, but just kind of maybe taking my time. All right. So this is Sue. This is ooh. This is su. Sue with a t -t 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 -t. And this is more like a s. All right. That's the, that's the difference there. I know I speak like I'm in a position of authority, but I really have no idea. It's this is just what I've learned. I hope I'm not misleading anyone. All right, we have now te. That's bad. This is this is not a good example. Um, let's try that again. Te. Um. I'm having a little trouble getting this to look right. <laughs> These are not good looking Tez. Te. That's getting there. That's that's not too bad. Maybe having a, a shorter, a shorter top stroke might be beneficial. It's not too bad. And again, this is, you know, I'm not an expert here. I'm kind of using what I've seen as my frame of reference. And I know like, so this one is way out of whack. The top line is way too long. Um, this one is way, I, obviously this looks like a, you know, like a English Z. Um, that's obviously not good. This is a little bit better. That curve. This is like way too right, way too like crooked on the right side. That's why I'm trying to like, you know, maybe make the top line a little bit shorter. Um, let's, let's maybe try a few more. Oh. I think I'm deleting the layer by accident. Here we go. So do like a short top line. There we go. That's a little bit nicer looking. And like more like a big curve. And I think that's more, this is more like what I've seen. And it almost looks, you know, it almost looks like a T for T. It's like, it's like a, t okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe it doesn't look like that. Um, but yeah, this is. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, these are good. These are good-ish. Te is not that common, but it's not too hard to recognize. Te. All right. I feel pretty good about those tes. And then we'll do toe. I like toe, personally. I think, um, uh, and this is a very common one. You're going to see this one a lot. It's just... It kind of looks like it's um, 
I don't know, like a like a sandwich with a <laughs> with a toothpick sticking out of it or something. I don't know. I I don't know what helps you remember things. But um, this character, I love this one. I think this one's very easy to remember, and it comes up a lot. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, beautiful. These are all, I don't, I don't know if they're all perfect, but, the, but they all look pretty good. Maybe, maybe this one's not so great because that's a little bit too short um, on the bottom there. And this one's maybe a little bit lopsided, this guy. But otherwise, I think it's beautiful. Um, I'm pretty happy with those. Obviously, if you know, if you need more time on any particular letter or whatever, you know, to take however much time you want, or skip ahead if you uh, if you feel pretty confident about what letters you're doing. You know, I know I'm not confident on some of them, especially the more difficult ones, more more lines involved. Take a break, like me. Grab some water, but uh. We're going to be returning right here with Na. This is the N group. I know what you're thinking. There's so many groups, but you know, what have we done? We've done, we've done just the vowels. So we did vowels. Uh, we did the K group. We did the S group and we did the T group. Um, so that's, you know, that's pretty good. That's already, you know, this is a full alphabet almost. That's, 20 characters and if you're only used to 26 um you know your your brain is probably overloaded here so you know consider uh taking a break consider reviewing those those first uh four groups before continuing but you know i've i've already done you know i've obviously i've i've practiced um hiragana before and I, I can mostly read it uh, at this point. So it's, you know, this is more just practice for me, just getting used to it, um, writing the characters and so forth. Anyway, so we'll be continuing with, with the N group. <laughs> yeah, N. So we got all of our, uh, our N sounds. Ns are very common in Japanese. So we'll do na. Na is very common. So we start with, uh, again, this sort of cross-shaped uh, shape, but it's a little bit shorter. And then we have a dash. And then we got a, a curly Q. And this, you know, you want to think about this. This is kind of in a box, right? You can almost, oops, you can almost see that. <laughs> see the box that's being formed here. It's, it's a very square-shaped um, character. But there's a lot of, there's a lot going on here. Yep, horizontal first. Cross, a dash. And a curly Q. And I feel like this curly Q, you almost want it to line up um, in a way that's making this box. I did the dash in the wrong order there. It's kind of it's kind of squeezing into this blank space between this and the dash. Did the wrong order again. Horizontal, vertical, dash, and then curly Q. Na 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 na. 
that's what we're doing here. Oh my god, way, way the wrong order here. Get, see, I'm distracting myself, that's the problem. These are all looking better. Yeah, making the horizontal line first definitely helps keep it from looking a little bit too crazy. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. These are all Nas. Um, they might not be the most beautiful, but they're okay. I sometimes confuse na with ka, which is also a little bit square shaped and has a has a dash. But this is this is ka. It's a little bit simpler than na. All right. Then we have ni. This is ni. Very simple. Um, if you've learned any Japanese, you also know that ni is the number two. Ni. Uh, and you might also remember it sort of looks a little bit like ta. This is a, this is ta. Oops, oh my god. This is ta. This is ni. And again, this is... <laughs> it's kind of not the best co, but this um, and these are not the best knees. I should have probably this a little bit spaced out more. That's not too bad. I'm doing a little bit of uh, too much of a an up curve. It almost looks like a, a she, but it should just be more like just a little bit. Let's let's maybe try just a couple more. Knee. And then we could say like. Um, Ani, Ani, right? It's like half of anime. Okay, we're getting there. We're halfway to anime. Um, for all this, <laughs> for all this anime fans out there. Um, all right, we've got new. That's that's ugly. Um, so this one is then if you're looking at this and you're like, how the heck do I do this? All right, let's go slowly. So just first line, very simple, just a single dash. Second line, we're kind of coming from the same vertical starting point through here and around like a pretzel like this. And then kind of like a little flourish at the end. All right, so let's let's do that. Sort of starts like that. Oops, and then a flourish. Uh, that's awful. I'm gonna obviously need to practice this one here. Um, maybe I'll go a little bit slower. There we go. Yeah, and, and you really want to get this kind of pretzel look um, with this little gap in the middle. This little triangular gap. Just like a pretzel. This is new. And 
what is new good for? New is good for words like inu. Can we do that? Okay, e. Let's remember this is i. And then new, inu. This means dog. All right, inu, great. Um, maybe a few more. Uh, okay. It's not too bad. It's it's kind of a funky looking letter, but sometimes the more funky looking ones are easier to remember because you're like, well, that's really out there. Yeah. All right. Um, let's try ne. So we've got vertical line, and then we sort of want to cross over this line and then do a curly Q. Oh, golly. Um, it's almost like a Z through the line and then a curly Q. But it's not a Z. It's, it's not like a Z and then a curly Q. It's almost like the, the last leg of that Z is the curly Q. So it's not too bad. <laughs> did, did it in the wrong order. And this is ne. And what do we use ne for? We can spell, we can spell neko, which means cat. So let's ne, and then ko, neko. Um, I'll fully admit, even though I'm looking at the uh, diagram on how to draw a ne, I don't think mine look very correct. Like, no matter how I do it, it just doesn't look right. My first one might be the best example <laughs> when I was going slowly. Um, okay, maybe we'll do a few more. I think I'm not making the curve big enough. That's I think that's the problem. I'm making this like way too little. That's oh gosh, uh, it's not right. Um, yeah, you know, hey, everybody needs practice, including me. My nez are <sighs> all, all pretty horrible looking. Completely inconsistent. There's like no consistency here. They're, they're really a lot of variation. Well, you know, I'll just have to, you know, practice some more some other time. That's what we're doing here. So, okay, now we're gonna do no. No is a very common letter. Um, so get used to this one. That's just one swoop. It almost looks like a, like a little sushi or, I don't know, or a little, um, what does it look like? Looks like something that's rolling. No, 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 no. And so no in Japanese is sort of like a, it's like a preposition. Is that, is that the right uh, term? 
Um, you use it in a sentence. It's like of or like, yeah, it's like the word of almost. Um, so you'll see this in sentences um, as kind of a conjoining word. It's not too bad. It's just a little, a little swirl. And the most important thing, you just want to like make sure you're like connecting or close to connecting at least. Not not too uh, you know, it's not too low, not too high. You want it kind of just right. Yeah. Make sure that's kind of right there. That's how you know you've done it right. Beautiful. Those are all nose. All right, so can I do this? Let's see. Nah, nah, me, no, new. This is, I, you know, in English, we usually think A-E-I-O-U. In Japanese, they do it in, in obviously, a different order. Um, but let's see. So not, okay, nah, horizontal first. Yeah, pretty good. Um, then we did knee. Not too bad. And then we did ne, which is that. All right. Uh, and then we did no. And we did new, which is yes. All right. I was able to do ne and new from memory. Those actually are not too bad. This might be kind of the best, the best ones I did, actually. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, so that's the end set. All right. Now we'll do the H set. Uh, we'll start with ha. This is a very common one. So you're going to see this a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. This is ha. Um, in fact, especially in uh, when you're starting out, this is going to be like the character to know. So even though this is ha, you'll also hear it pronounced wa, depending on the word. Like if you had watashi wa, this is the wa. It's not the it's not the wa in watashi. It's the wa in watashi wa. Um, which basically means is. So this is sort of like is. So if you you had something wa something, something is something. Wa. And again, I, I don't even know Japanese, so this is a beginner teaching another beginner, but that's the basics. This, this is sort of what I've learned. So this is wa. That's pretty easy. Wa. Not to be confused with ke. Okay, so this is, this is wa. This is ke. All right, yeah. All right, so then we do he. It's not high, it's he. Remember, all the vowels are short. And it's just, it's almost like a cursive U. Um, so if you're familiar with the letter U, this uh, this one's actually probably not that hard to draw. It's a little bit, you know, the, the exact nature of it's a little bit different, but when you see it, you'll say, oh yeah, that's he. I know that one. It looks like you know, like a traditional letter, it doesn't look, you know, like, it doesn't look like Japanese, it looks like just a, you know, just a U, and you're like, because it's a U, that means it's actually he.
beautiful. Yeah, those are all beautiful. Okay, this one is foo. So there's no, there's no who. Um, and it's it's sort of like a soft F. So it's it's not like who. It's who or something like that. They spell it with an F. Who who. So it's like a soft F, sort of almost halfway between an F and an H. Who. Um, this one's really funky looking. Uh, it's four lines and none of them are connected. And so you're going to be really confused like me on how to do this right. But it's one, two, three, four. And if I had to kind of explain why this is foo, okay. So let's, let's just put a circle there for now. And then you can imagine this is like a stick figure running, right? It's sort of like, sort of like a stick figure on the run. Uh, all right. Okay. We can't, my, I should, I should fix my eraser and make it bigger, but, um, so I'm going to remove this little circle. He's going to come back at some point, but that's, that's what you want to think about. So it's kind of, <laughs> oh, kind of like that. Oh man. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I guess the, th um, the one and the two are in the same direction, kind of down, down. And the three and the four are in opposite directions in terms of where you're lifting the pen. Oh man, these are, I have to like space these out because it's a little bit weird if I don't. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, all right. I have to like really space these out. Cause otherwise they all blur together. It just looks like garbage. Um, oh crap, I deleted my layer again. All right. Um, our soccer star. These are these are all terrible. It's it's so much easier with the, uh, the little head, I think. Yeah, beautiful. It's not, that doesn't look too bad. And then, you know, all right, let me, let me actually change my eraser. All right, all right, that, sh that should be better. Great. So now I can draw, now I can erase. All right, okay, maybe I want that to be a little bit bigger. Make it huge. All right, that's better. Okay, so yeah, so it's sort of like that. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's little, big, little, little. I know. This character is really tough for me. I'm sure these are all really bad, um, really bad examples. You can see what it's supposed to look like on the left. Um, let me, let me see. Maybe if I do, so one, what if I line them up kind of vertically and then I want they seem to imply like 
So the first line and the second line should be vertically aligned, and the third and fourth should be horizontal, like this almost. You know, like it's on a flat line here, and a flat line here. Is that sort of what we're doing? Maybe that's better. I don't know. We'll, we'll try a few like this. That's actually, that's looking a little bit cleaner now that I, I'm i seeing it. This is a little bit better, actually. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's more legible now. Before, it just looked like garbage. Um, this, you can probably at least guess what letter I'm trying to draw. Foo. Okay. Um, this might be the best foos I've drawn all day. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it there. And we're gonna move on to he. He. Or this is also just pronounced eh. Because he is, it's very breathy. Um, in Japanese, there's not a lot of, like, I don't know, hard H's. Like you saw with Fu, that would require you to go, Hu, it's too much. Um, so, He is just Eh. Also, Ha is usually Wa. So, you know, but yeah, Eh. All right. So, you know, okay, I rem just remember, um, ku is, is like this, ku, and this is eh. It's not, it's not exactly like a V, it's not equal like the ku is. Um, the, um, the eh sound, or the eh character is, it's a little bit longer on the right, kind of like a mountain. It's a little bit longer on the right. I don't know. <laughs> do, do mountains exist that are longer on the right? I guess so. But these are these are all fine. Kind of like you're drawing your seagulls in the background, or mountains, or waves. These are all good. Maybe this one is not so good. That's a, there's a little bit too much of a too much of a curve going on there. It's, it's pretty straight. All right, that's he, or eh. Uh, next we have ho. Okay, so, and again, and we have wa, uh, which is, this is wa, let's not forget that, and this is Ho. Two lines instead of one. Otherwise, pretty similar. Doing it in the wrong order. This one is, that's pretty good. This one's, next one's a little bit too crooked, but. Yeah, and you can see like that vertical line, the first vertical line is sort of setting the height. That's so we don't, you know, we don't go too far when we're creating our, um, our, our little swoop. All right, those are all pretty good. We got our ho, we got our ha. Ho, 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 great. Uh, before we go to the next one, okay, let's try it. Okay, so we got, we have ha, e, he, 
who wait <laughs> and and ho okay whatever we we're, we're changing the order of the vowels every single time apparently it's totally on purpose totally okay so uh for wa and as we remember ho he he and the hard one foo it's looking at, now that i've sort of aligned the lined it vertically and horizontally it's a lot easier to see yeah my my first one's really bad this this is this is much easier to read you can sort of tell what i'm trying to do <laughs> even if it's i don't know if it's like actually correct looking but you know what it's trying to be um beautiful and that's the most important thing just being understood all right now we've got our m group and i know what you're thinking you're like wow is every letter of the alphabet going to have five combinations uh sort of but but also no um is this this might actually be the last one no that yeah there's a few random ones but we're we're actually getting close to the end ish um so we've got uh ma mi mu me mo all right so let's oops, let's start with ma okay we have ma yeah not too bad And you might remember this looks like a, a hoe, but without the line. Again, this is, we'll do hoe. This one's hoe. Oh man, if I can, <laughs> I mean, I know it's not a great example of hoe, but that's hoe. So it's the same thing on from the right side. We're just, we have no vertical line to set the height. And as a result, mine look a lot more sloppy. But if you slow down a little bit, mama, yes, you have all these mamas. I feel pretty good about ma. Ma's good. All right, now we're gonna do me, which is like that that's actually a very good one that's a very good me that's not so good but yes this is what we're doing I almost have to slow down and look what I drew the first time because that was like almost perfect. Okay. Um... Right, let's maybe we'll do a couple more. So down. I think the key here is that um, here I was I'm kind of curving it down. This is not right. It should go straight uh, at the end. Me, me, me. This is me. All right. 
Yeah, I feel that's that's pretty good for me's. Let's do some moos. Moo. Oh gosh. So here we're doing again this kind of curly cue. Like us like we're starting a sue, but then we're gonna come up. And then we do a little dash. I actually find this a little bit easier than Sue because, and again, um, this was Sue. Just because the um, the end of this is going the opposite direction, and so I don't I don't end up with this kind of ugly looking curly cue. It actually lines actually lines up a little bit better when I do it because it's supposed to overlap sort of like that. This is moo. And yeah, it's not it's not quite like as curvy as a J. You wanna have a little bit of a horizontal line at the bottom. Yeah, these are a lot easier for me than Sue is. Man, those are beautiful. Get out of here, Sue. I hate you. Awful looking letter. Um, all right, uh, and one more for the road. Great, okay. Uh, next, let's do meh. So meh. That's um, that's what we need to spell anime. So let's get to it. Uh, we're gonna have one here, and then again we're doing kind of a pretzel, but we're stopping at the end. So compared to um, new, which was with a curly cue at the end, we're sort of, we're not doing a curly cue. Okay, that was new. This is meh. Oops. That one's pretty good. So this word also means I. Um, you know, if you just, you know, said the word meh, this means I, and you can kind of see it looks like an I. You want to make sure you have again that little triangular space in your, in your sort of pretzel. These are not looking too bad. Not too bad. Not not perfect, but not too bad. This one is not good. Um, you can see, like, I didn't... Uh, <laughs> I mean, now that I drew on it, you, uh, you can't see that, but you can see that I didn't... Um, it, do it doesn't extend high enough. So you want to... Yeah, this one's a little bit short. It should start a little bit higher so that it, you can make sure you're... It's, good. it's not going to get, you know... It's not going to get consumed by that curve, right? You want to, uh, you want to make sure it's outside of the curve. Okay, so these are our mez. These are new. Maybe we'll do just a couple more. This is one that I could imagine um, you have some trouble with. It takes a little practice. Definitely takes some time. Any of the ones that, that you're struggling with a little bit more than I am. Take a little bit of time. Yeah, these are, these are not bad. They're not perfect. Um, like this one here, you can see the the first line is a little bit too short. 
um, doesn't quite extend, should, should really kind of extend a little bit. Um, this one's maybe, maybe a little bit of a too much of a nub. Yeah, obviously, the, you know, I'm not saying these are perfect, but uh, yeah, they're, not, they're not too bad. All right, so that's meh. All right, and then we got Mo. Mo. That's it. You know, at this point, you're probably pretty used to seeing these double lines with some kind of uh, vertical shape coming through them. So let's, might want to compare to a couple other shapes. All right, so what else do we have? We had Sa. Wait, no, that's not saw. That's um, that's key. Sorry, this is key. We had uh, what else? We had um, this was ho, right? Ho. Was that ho? Oh my gosh. Or is that no? This is this is ma. Oh my god, this is ma. Sorry. This is is ho, right? Have I? Yes, <laughs> yes. I haven't, I haven't forgotten in the last five minutes. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? We had like, we had moo, we had, we had su, we had moo, we had. There's lots of these shapes that have one or two lines and then some kind of some kind of swirl of some kind. But but this one is mo. So let's maybe just do a few more. So one, two, and a J. Mo. Momo, 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 momo. All right. Those are all beautiful. They might not be perfect. I, actually, this, this one's not that great, but but they're not too bad. I feel pretty okay about that. All right. So we'll do a challenge. All right. Ma, me, me. Mo Mu. Okay. Uh, as I just said, Ma. Me. Uh, me. Oh my gosh, what is me? Hold on. I'll come back to it. I'll, I'll remember. Mo. And. Alright, this one's Mu. What the heck was me? See, I'm I'm also st oh yes, that's right. Me. Not too bad. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm still a beginner. Even I forget sometimes. <laughs> I I I say even even I. I mean, the whole reason I'm doing this is so I can practice. If anybody else uh, benefits from hanging out with me, and you know, then thanks for hanging out. Um, but we have a we have some more letters to go. All right, we're coming close to the end of the the groups. So now we've got um, ya, you, and yo. There's no ye. There's also no ye. I I guess they sound probably too close to he and he. So there's no ye and yeah, I don't know. There, there's only three for this one. So, okay, so ya. Yeah. All right, we have one, two, three. It's not too bad. It don't, the, the one trouble of this is it almost looks like a, like a poorly drawn ka, but that's not what it is. Okay, it's not ka, this is ka, it's not that. Okay, let's try, let me, let me do this again. Okay, so ka. This was ka. That's a poorly drawn ka, but you can see that's what it is. 
Maybe that's a better color. Okay, this is not that. This is, you're kind of, instead of going downward, you're kind of going more upward like this. Instead of kind of down to the left, you're going down to the right. This is why the stroke order matters. So it can, it can help you with the legibility of your letters. My instinct is to do the dash last, but dash apparently is before the vertical line here. I guess to, um, I don't know, to, it's to help you space it. Get rid of these cause. Get out of here, ka. Don't like you. In fact, <laughs> let's, just, let's just clear this. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, those are all yas. They're not the most beautiful yas in the world. This one's not too bad. But, yeah, they're, eh, maybe we need a little bit more practice. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty good for yaws. Those are yaws. You know, it almost looks like a Y. I don't know if that helps you remember. It sort of, sort of looks like a Y to me. Kind of a weird Y, but um, all right. Next we have U. Uh, okay, so this is like. Oh man, is that right? I guess it is. That's that's not a very good one. Oh. My 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 first strokes became a little bit too short. Okay, let's try that again. is not looking good. Let's um, slow it down again, like this. Uh, I think we need to do a couple more. My uh my vertical line here, this is like way too tall. I think I think maybe if I try to do it like a just just kinda like a little line like that. That's a little bit better, I think. More legible. I think I think these are better. I 
Obviously, mine are now a little bit short, but before they were way too tall. Uh, okay. Um, no, these are not news. These are, these are use, use. Uh, man, they do not look good. These look pretty, pretty bad, but maybe yours look better than mine. I feel pretty okay about that though. Let's, um, let's move on. This is yo. This is very common. So we're going to do one, it's a horizontal line, and, and for once we're actually not going all the way through, just like that. Beautiful. This is very common letter, should probably get used to this one. And note how it's different than wa. Wa, remember, H. It's not ha, but it's sometimes ha, but it's it's often wa. This is yo. Mmm, this yo. This character is not that hard to draw. I like this one. Did not like some of the ones with lots of lines. This is not too bad. And these are, you know, some of these are kind of crooked. Some of them, like this guy, his, uh, his, his little line here is a little bit too long. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yo. Wait, and then Wow. Still have this little curvy cue, but um, this line is different. All right, not too bad. Okay, can I, can I remember what I did? Okay, so this is yo. No, this is not yo, <laughs> hold on. This is yo. Actually, that's that's a good point. So this is um, almost like an O. This is an O. This is a yo. This is a ma. No, this is this is ho. This is. Ma, right? I haven't, I haven't messed this up. Yes. Yes, there's a lot of, there's a lot of similar looking characters. It takes a little bit of practice um, to get used to. We'll do the R group. Start with Ra. I know there's not, is there another group? Yeah, there is, there's, there's, oh yeah, there's one more group uh, after this, by the way. I know there's a lot, a lot to go through. Take some water. <clears throat> Let's see, all right. So with Ra, we're doing kind of, kind of like this. And you might remember Sa. Sa looked like this. Did it look like that? It looked like that. I don't know. This reminds me of Sa. It's obviously, it's different. And it's also, there was also, um, this is Chi. 
this isn't so let's keep those in mind it's not not either of those so we have a little dash and then we have kind of yeah a little dash straight and then a curve Ra da 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 da. These are all ra's. Um, in Japanese, there's no difference between a, a, an R and an L. It's sort of like halfway between, like a ra. Ra la la la. It's um. Raki. So if you say lucky, you say raki. That's obviously a borrowed word from English. Um, there's a lot of borrowed words in Japanese, um, from English, probably due to the popularity of English after World War II. Okay, so that was ra. We'll do re. So this one is not, okay. And remember, just um, I or E, it's sort of similar. So you got to be careful here. It's not that. It's you know, the, the right mark is a lot more pronounced. It's almost like a J. It's going to go sort of partially, you know, underneath here. It's not like an I where it's, it's they're almost not touching. Um, it's more like this where it's, it's, the right mark is a lot bigger. And, you know, it, it might even, you know, it's it's not going to be horizontal quite like this, like a right angle, but it might kind of do that J kind of shape and go underneath. That's fine. Yeah, so these are all Rs. Rs. Um, yeah, and they even, they even say it actually here. Stroke one can just be a simple line. It doesn't have to have um, the little the little uh, uptick on the pen. Um, that uptick, you know, it's sort of like you're following, if you imagine this is one stroke, it's just like you're lifting your pen in here. So you're, so it's like if you don't lift your pen at exactly the bottom, you might end up getting uh, a little bit of, of an uptick. That's what that is. I like that, like this. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm like not even drawing the letter right. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's good to know about this because sometimes like, you know, if you might see, for example, like sa, sa is like, technically it's like this. Um, but sometimes it's got like a little tick, so it's like almost connected. Um, but technically, these are different strokes, especially in like, you know, Game Boy Advance. It might be hard to even see that it's not connected. So it might just look like this for like a, a saw. But technically, you can just do this with like almost, almost no connection, no, um, you know, no uptick at all on that corner. SNES, Nintendo, Entertainment System. You know, if, you, if you're using any of these systems with Japanese text, like you're gonna expect it's gonna be, they're not gonna have very detailed uh, lettering. All right, so we'll do Ru, Ru. 
And this is almost like, okay, so what did we have? We had like, we had a so. So was like, not like this, it was one, two, th three, four. <laughs> is this a so? Man, how do I, how do I write so? Again, even I need to look. Oh, see, I did I did one too many swirlies here. It should be. No, oh, let's let's just erase that and try again. Okay, so this is this is so. Okay, not too bad. And um, this one is Peru. And I think they look quite different, but they sort of start actually the same. Right, so so kind of um, has this shape that's more like a T, a T E, te. So that's a te. So it has sort of like a te shape. And this has more like a. I don't know, a curly cue um, instead. Anyway, <laughs> this is sort of my bad way of remembering how things work. That's not bad. Do 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 do. Let's get a few more roos in here. Roo or Lou or do. These are all all sort of acceptable. Do do do. In Japanese, if you say "lu," that's you know people kind of probably look at you funny. I would imagine it's a little bit of a it's a very pronounced "l," whereas um, it's more of a more of a soft "u." I don't know. Maybe imagine you have some marbles in your mouth. Um, if if that helps you put your tongue in the right position. You're sort of like cupping something with your tongue. All right, not not perfect, but um, I think rue looks pretty different than so. Um, it's not too bad. All right, let's try ray. So here again, we're doing one of these Z's across this line. Um, but we get this nice, nice curve afterward um, compared to this, which was ne. This is re. I like re a lot better. I think it's easier to, to draw. My hand naturally wants to kind of like you know, continue the curve. So, uh, vertical line first. <laughs> Wait, vertical line. This is ne. This is no good. That's not what you want here. You want just like that, re. 
maybe I'll do I'll do one more ne. So ne is like that. <laughs> I don't know, my nez always look really really bad. Something like that. Okay, let's let's move on. Uh, and then we have uh, row, and you're like, uh oh, that looks a lot like Rue, which was sort of like this. Yeah, it's, I mean it's kind of like that at the bottom. It's not. Ugh, it's not my ruse need work. Um, this is Rue. This is Row. It's not like too bad. And again, and it's, and so it's here with like a te, like a te ending. This is just bleh. All right. Row is the simplest looking one that starts like this. I guess that's how you can imagine it. If you want to take a row and make it a rue, you put a curve instead of uh, just continuing the line. Uh, man, it's, I mean, it's almost like a three, but it's not, it's not really. Let's maybe do a few more. Uh, the reason it's not like a three, like this line should be a lot longer. It's, I mean, it's it's not like this. The, everything, it's not equal length of lines. It's almost like a shorter top and then a curve at the bottom. Um, the top should be horizontal. I don't know. <laughs> this is maybe the best I can do. All right, so those are rows. Um, so let's try this. So we'll do um, ra, re, Re, Ro, Ru. And so, Ra should be one line. Um, Ri, uh, Re is oh, God, uh, continues, yep. And then, Ro. And then, Rue. Yeah, it's maybe, maybe I'll try this row again. Um, sort of like, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. Uh, that's the R group. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, group 10, this is Wa. It's not the kind of Wa we did before. This is more, this is the W group, or the, I don't know, the, the things that don't fit in the other groups group. Um, so we got wa, wo, and n. So for wa, we're going to do one of these, and it's just like that. A nice big curve. Wa. This is the wa in watashi. Okay, and we want to compare that probably to the R. This is, so compared to uh, Ray, We 
we like continue, this is like one hump. This is like one and a half humps, or like two humps. I know what you want. Yeah, it's like one and a half humps. And then um, if we compare that to ne, uh, this is down like that. So it's got a, a curly Q. Okay, so this is this is re, this is ne, and this is and these are was. Um, I feel like because it has just the one curve, you can go ahead and feel comfortable making that curve pretty big. Wait, <laughs> uh, don't start with a horizontal line, vertical line, like that. There's our walls. Okay, then we got whoa. This is pronounced usually just like o oh, or oo, whoa, oo. Oh. Man, I, I don't even know if I can say this right. Yeah, usually you, you sort of don't say the w. You just say like o. Oh. Um, or it's a very it's a very soft w. Oo, oh. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I can just do it uh, out of nowhere, but so we're going to start with a horizontal line and then uh, down like this and then like this. <laughs> is that right? Um, is that right? This does not look familiar to me, to be honest. I don't, I don't know if I've, practice this one before. I have to like, I have to really think here. So it's almost, yeah, that, that looks a little bit better. You're not making like a full, you're not making like a, f a full hump like that, um, like we see in a lot of other characters. You're sort of just doing this kind of a half hump and then you're crossing it over. This character sometimes comes up, but as you can see from my unfamiliarity how to write it. Um, maybe it doesn't come up that often, but this is, oh, or whoa. Uh, those are not too bad. Um, first one was really terrible, but I think we're getting better. Um, I think that's fine. Uh, and next we'll do N, which is like, it's almost just like an N with a really tall stem. This is like another super easy character and it's good because it comes up a lot. N, 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 N. Beautiful. Um, all right, well, I, I think we've been going for long enough. That is all 46 characters. Um, there are, obviously there's a couple more. You, you might notice that we only have, uh, we have like W, H, N, R, K, S, T, um, oh, we had like, we had some like Y kind of sounds. Um, yeah, oh, M, yeah, we, we, we did M. What else we do? Yeah, oh, and of course we did the vowels. Um, and we, well, let's guess represent those with a blank. So, we did, we did these sort of letters, 
Um, and you might be thinking like, well, what about B or P or G? Uh, don't worry about those. Um, those are exactly the same as some of the ones up here, but they just have like a little extra mark. So like consider, uh, consider ta, for example. So this is ta. And if we want to make that into um, da, uh, we just add two little marks. And that's da instead of ta. So, uh, and, and I'll go over those little changes. So if you can, if you learn these um, 46 letters, I know it's, it's 46 instead of 26, so it's almost double. Uh, but if you can learn them, uh, you'll be you'll be prepared to learn uh, how to make the other different sounds, and uh, how to basically how to read almost any old games. You won't necessarily know what the words mean, but you'll be able to read it, um, and that's the most important thing. Um, all right, uh, so I think we'll we'll end this one for for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you like and subscribe, that's always helpful. Uh, if you don't, well, you know, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is how I'm thinking of learning to practice uh, Japanese uh, with video games. Um, but we need some starting point. So, all right. I will maybe see you next time.